Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fabulous to have you here because this is part three of working on the Damascus Steel CSGO M9 bayonet, and it is gonna be so much fun. Sam's over in the office working hard. And before I get started with this, I wanna run to the TIG welder and do some TIG welding, get some practice in, because it's really fun. I'm really enjoying TIG welding. Okay, I'm done making pigeon poop. Let's do some actual work. So here's where we are so far on the bayonet. As you can see from the oxides, the pattern that's on this bayonet is the same pattern that is on my sword. This is the first sword I ever made, t-shirt, alexsteelshop.com. And it's the same pattern, so I'm excited to reveal that. We'll be, we'll be doing that in this video. To get there, however, you see we have a very thick edge right now. I'm gonna bring this edge down. We're gonna face everything off on the 60 grit. We'll go 120, 240, try Zach, and then onto the hand sanding before we etch this and see just how incredible this looks. That was a pretty fun two hours. That grinder, I like that grinder. I'm gonna say it, I really like that grinder. I have never ground a knife as easily as this. So, that's saying that my practice is getting a hell of a lot better, and I'm starting to get better at this, and I can't believe the consistency that I've got. I'm really, really proud of myself, so this is very exciting. But of course, you know, with me, everything is always exciting, and so, yes, I'm very, very excited. So I have a trizac finish that goes all the way across on this flat surface here, but it's perpendicular to the length of the blade here on that particular grind line. We need to get this grind here to have a parallel 400 grit finish before we go into the etch. I also need to sand this out to 400 grit, so it is now time for some hand sanding. What do you say, Sam? I think it's time to go and get some lunch. Food wouldn't be bad right about now. Okay, let's go get some lunch. Let's go. And just like that I've eaten, isn't that magic? It is indeed, no, it's called editing. So first things first, we're gonna get in there with some sandpaper. I'm gonna make myself up a little tool that I can wrap on the sandpaper that matches the radius of that cutter, 16 millimeter radius, and then we'll be able to work that. Polish it up nice and neatly. This has taken forever. I've spent so much time on that. We're still going, but I'm gonna come up here because Sam. What are you doing, Sam? Putting stuff in boxes. This is a lot of boxes. Oh my goodness. What are you putting in boxes? These burners, these bits, and bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. But I think we've only got, what, when did we put the things up? A couple of days ago? Yep. So we've only got about half left. You guys better hurry up. So that's great because it means that lots of you guys ordered burners, so they're gonna be going out really, really fast, which is exciting. So thanks guys for, for hopping on there and grabbing some burners. I think we also have striking anvils up. I don't know how many of them are left. You remember this pallet of striking anvil blocks? That showed up here just the other day. So what well, I'm, so, so, so right now I, Sam, Sam, yo, hey, hey, Sam. Hey, hang on a sec. Okay. So, right now this is at a 400 grit on this one side. It's not as clean as I want inside that fuller line. I have no idea how I'm gonna best get in there. I think one of my, I think one of my mops, I think one of the mops on one of my grinders will do it. Blah. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna do the other side.
Okay, so I have the radius re-established in there. I did that with the file as well as using the grinder a little bit there, kind of off camera. I'm not going to take this file guide off. This is a carbide file guide. I use this to make sure that I can be perfectly flat across here. So now that that's done, this is ready for its final finish. And you guys know I like using this mop right here to do the final finish, and that's going to help me clean out these little dirty spots in here. And then it's into the ferric chloride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of the truth. This is where it gets put in the acid. I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to take it out, and we're going to see if there are any oil spots, and you're also going to see the pattern. This is it. This is it. What? Oh my goodness, that is cool. Look at that. Look at the faces, look at the demons in that pattern. Holy moly, that is beautiful. Oh yeah. This has been part three of the Damascus Steel CSGO Bayonet. It has been a blast, an incredible day. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next episode. I cannot wait to see you then. I cannot wait to start working on the guard. I cannot wait to start working on the handle, working on all the other stuff that needs to go on in this knife to make this thing finished. I will see you then if you're watching in the future. That episode, part four, is down there. There is part one up there. Most of all, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye.